Hi, I'm Jonathan Hall, and I'd like to talk to you about the Achievement Awards, a new component of the Guild's educational program. These awards were developed by the Committee on Professional Certification during my tenure as its director, under the leadership and with tremendous help and input from Don Cook, who is the Counselor for Education. These awards are not professional certifications per se, but are hoped to be an inspiration and a good first step towards building a foundation that we hope you will build on with professional certification. It behooves me at this time to mention the name of Dr. Andre Lash, who is the current director of the Committee on Professional Certification. If you have a question about certification, you might ask your chapter coordinator or exam center coordinator first, but if you are that person, or they're not available, or there isn't one, uh, or you just have questions or feedback, uh, something you'd like to say, I, I know that Dr. Lash would be as happy to hear from you as I always was and as my predecessors were. We're on one team, we're rooting for your success, we'd like to be helpful, and we'd like you to know us and, and trust us and work with us. Now, on to the Achievement Awards. In the beginning, there were fellows and associates. Eventually, within living memory, the colleague examination was added, sort of building a more preliminary step uh, towards the higher certifications. Now we also have the service playing certificate, which seeks to introduce one to certification by tapping into the core Sunday morning skill set. Of course, there's also the choir master exam, which similarly taps into core skills. What a great idea for building confidence to start you off with something with which you're already very familiar and comfortable. But instead of continuing to build rungs downward, I had a mental image of a helicopter dropping a rope ladder down. I asked whether we shouldn't start on the ground and build a pathway up towards certification. And that's exactly what the Achievement Awards were attended, intended to be. The current TAO has a wonderful ad, full page ad on these exams, these awards, and I'm going to read verbatim. The AGO Achievement Awards are a great way to learn basic organ playing skills, to fill in your existing skill set, to start on the road to AGO certification, to structure organ teaching, and to get involved in your AGO chapter. Isn't that great? At present, there are five awards in our repertoire. Uh, it was my intention, and also that of Don Cook, that this list would grow and expand and, we hope, evolve over time uh, in response to your feedback and to perceived needs. So this is why some of these exams have a Roman numeral one with them. We intended to, and still intend, I think, to build out on those. So at present, the five exams we have are the organ console, Organ Registration 1, Manual and Pedal Technique, Transposition, yes, and Harmony 1. Some of the questions on these exams involve things as simple as an explanation of what information is found on a console nameplate, uh, how to turn the organ on and off, and the right way to leave it for next time. Don't you love it when people do that? How to play a short chord progression in closely related keys, things of that nature. While these questions may strike some of you as very basic, please remember that there was a time in your life when they were mighty mysteries. The Guild, I believe, should be the great national voice in fostering growth at the organ from day one, from turning mighty mysteries into old familiar friends. We should work for the day when beginning organists of all ages can earn these awards, receive a certificate that is presented with pride by chapter leadership, blazoned with the name of the Guild, and attesting to progress. And this is a chapter initiative. The 
Achievement Awards are not administered at the national level. They comprise a ready-made educational program that can be deployed at will upon request for any one of your members' benefit. The examiner or proctor is called a mentor, is just a chapter member, and simply has a good grasp of the material. No especial credentials are required. As that wonderful full-page ad also attests, these awards are a great way to structure organ teaching. And they're also a fine strategy for promoting member involvement, engagement, and retention for the student and the mentor alike. There were several uh, precedents in my mind uh, as I worked on these exams with Dr. Cook. One is the UK model. Examining bodies like Trinity College London and the associated boards of the Royal Schools of Music give exams in organ from the very beginning levels right through fellowship. There is no sense of compromise or letting down standards or making things too easy. On the contrary, there is a silky smooth upward progression, a sense of building up from day one. You jump in when you're ready and where you're comfortable. I have a lot of experience with Trinity College London but the associated boards have a very similar program. Both are beloved all over the world and with just cause. I also have experience with Toastmasters International, that uh, international group that promotes public speaking and leadership skills. This is the organization to join if you are fond of receiving little blue ribbons, little printed certificates, and yes, trophies with plastic stars on them. Who doesn't like one of these? I ask you. I don't display that trophy very often at all, but you'll notice I haven't thrown it out either. The reasoning behind this award mentality is pure genius. I think it's exactly right. If you compliment and encourage a person enough, you just may instigate a wonderful snowballing cycle of confidence, success, and achievement. I think there's no doubt that sadly the opposite is true. A person could also be set up to fail. We don't do that, do we? We want to set people up to succeed if we possibly can. I've seen the Toastmasters model as well as the Trinity College model um, work with myself as well as with others. So that's some things I had in mind. When we were discussing these awards at the national level with various stakeholders, a suggestion was made that we just have one basics exam and call it the basics exam or basics. I don't care for the term basics, as it seems to me to take away with one hand what it gives with another. Who wants to work hard to be called basic? Again, if you're a beginner, none of this is basic. This is cutting edge. This is the frontier of what you know. I think we have to signal that in what we call these awards and how we handle them. And why not differentiate all these different skills so that the student can work on one at a time in any order and rack up satisfying accomplishments? There's no downside to this. There's certainly no financial downside for the Guild, as in the printing of certificates. Your chapter has access to a PDF file. Uh, this is found on the Guild website under the Education tab, Achievement Awards. The PDFs are there to print off. The exams are there to print off. You've got this ready to go. And you can print it on nice paper, and you can fill it in with beautiful handwriting and get a paper frame or a folder if you like. We do not require that you print it on authentic parchment. There's no real expense involved. It's a fun and easy and inexpensive way to mark progress. Uh, the only other cost that I can think of is the time and devotion of a mentor and the kind provision of a venue with a suitable instrument and some time and love and dedication. Most of all, I think these awards can be used to build up and enhance our guild's culture of education our sense of mentorship and support and musical transmission. 
and our spirit of shared love for the King of Instruments, of course. Personally, I strongly support the high standards of the fellowship and associateship of all of the exams, but I also support giving the membership every possible road and access to that high achievement. These, ex these awards will fit into that. Above all, I would like to see the name of the American Guild of Organists firmly associated with a lifetime of musical learning and happy experiences. I hope you will look into the Achievement Awards and implement the program energetically in your chapter and region. Again, if you have any questions about them or feedback or suggestions for other exams, please contact Dr. Lash. And again, his contact information is on the Guild website. Thank you for watching this, and thanks to the American Guild of Organists for this wonderful opportunity to speak to you. All the best for your success.